It's making noises. Oh my god. Turn off the lights. I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her. Uh, I'll go back. I'll just go to order right now. And then we shouldn't have hired that hand. I heard somebody. Should I just turn off the computer now? Yeah. We'll order one set of napkins. And then I'll turn the computer off. Or should we live life on the edge? Then you can turn it off. Can I turn my computer back on? Yeah, you can turn it back on. Okay. I turned the power off. Uh oh. Why isn't it making noise? I'm so scared. We killed the handyman, that's why. <laughs> we gotta kill the handyman. <laughs> You're not who I expected to see. No. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Well then, that didn't sound... That's pretty cool. We're gonna die, that's what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> Well, so this is our how-to, a two-step guide. Not a lot of steps, just a two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Buy item. Or, you, I mean, also use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan as well. Now, are you ready for this? We're now new restaurant owners. Are a dream of ours came true of owning this pizzeria with animatronics that we happen to employ, I mean, employ just want us to die for some reason. But I know. thought we were just going to make pizza. I thought we were just going to make pizza too, but I guess somehow we own a restaurant now, so this is our life. But I am ready to make this restaurant the best restaurant ever.
let's get started. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Beat you to it. Great. That should be more than enough. Now let's get started. Perfect. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Shopping! So anyways, we have the Dumpster Diver Weekly. You know, this is really good. But anyways, we got the balloon barrels here. That discount ball pit that only one kid can fit into because somehow we made it into cardboard. But hey, that's all we really need, right? We starting off, they don't need to be fancy up in here. Got our paper cups and plates and then colorful ones. Got a single stage that Uncle Bob built for us. That one. Or the double one. Sanitation, because it's always nice to be sanitized helped with our health and safety or we got that discount cooling unit duck pond and the rest we can't buy yet so bucket ball well they're unavailable yes, they're not. <laughs> and paper pals oh you're so cute so which one do you want to get um, with our hundred dollars well definitely a balloon barrel for bonus revenue yeah we're gonna be cheap up in here we're gonna get cheap stuff at first because we're first starting off our business yeah let's see and of course we need a stage we have 40 dollars left we could oh yeah do you want this too oh yeah we need to be cool up yeah. in there cool damn now we only got 15 dollars to our name oh we could buy the paper pals fine we'll buy oh, paper pals now they're available the Oh, we just, oh yeah, we have to buy a stage uh, yeah. for them. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, do you want the animatronic or the paper pals? Oh, we could get Bucket Bob and the paper pals. But then we'll be poor. We need some money left over. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, we don't need money. <laughs> we don't need money. Yes, we do to run this business, we will. Let's get Bucket Bob. He seems like the kind of guy we need on our team. He's a stand-up kind of guy. Yeah, he's a stand-up kind of guy. Look at those oven mitts. They don't lie. I just want to see the other ones. Yeah, no competition here. He's the best for the job. Mr. Hugs is a liability because he might try to suck someone up in his vacuum cleaner. Yeah. The crate's kind of weird because I feel like they will be a liability. I mean, I, they should be. They'll probably trap someone up in there. We don't need Pan Stan. You're just trying to take Bucket, whatever his name is, job. <laughs> and we also don't need Mr. Can Do because you're just gonna, someone's gonna pop your head and then you're done. Bucket Bob. Up there. Yep, come to our team. Job. We're gonna keep these $5 we have left to buy some pizza. Now, let's just decorate. Go. Only the finest. And let's Look, see. They have the paper plates. Oh the yeah, paper. they're all set up. Here's our balloon. And yeah, so our place is looking mighty fine and wooden. But you know, it's a start. Yeah, it's a start somewhere. Ooh, let's play this game. Let's see what it's all about. You ready? Go! Oh wow. <laughs> well that was the easiest game I ever played in my life. I guess the video's done here. What do you say? Yeah, I think we completed it. No, oh, no. Well, anyways. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh we have some play coins. Well we're not gonna show us play like all of the games and stuff, cause 
yeah, I will just cut edit and we'll see you guys into the game of our new restaurant. I'm scared. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to Aww, do while patrons eat their pizza computer. in the other room. From your terminal, I don't know what his you have name is. To buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Oh. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something what? might be in the vents, you have a few tools oh, at your disposal God. to protect yourself. You might be. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at Where's any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Oh, also, shining your light directly into a vent know. will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna need it after this job. God, uh, let's order our supplies. Oh, yeah. By the way, when we were playing the game, it raised up our fast rating so that we got extra money. So, forgot to show off that part. So, yeah. Let's order the supplies. All right, we're going to order some cups now because our restaurant needs the highest quality paper cups. Here's some. You hear nothing. We're ordering these plates. There's nothing to worry about. We're fine. We're just here ordering, you know, stuff. Get some napkins. Check the friends. Fine, I'll check. Oh. That clown picture is so creepy. I know. What the heck? Oops. <laughs> Anyways. I like a lot of these other drawings. Except that clown. Yeah, that one's not too good looking. Pizza kits, you know, we make the fun quality pizza at our pizzeria. Straight from the pizza kits. Yeah, straight from the pizza kits. Let's print out some flyers. Get some advertising here. I'm scared. I feel like there's something walking in here. I do too. I think it's fine. But just in case, I'm gonna shut off the vent. Gonna print some posters. We don't need the vents for a while. The temperature is going up. I got the right temperature. Oh no. I'm gonna turn the vents back on before okay, we can suffocate yeah. up in here. When it hits 80, it's when I would. Okay, I'll turn it in there. Now let's print out some menus. pretty quick in there. Hey, this place is a sweaty business up in here. You know, we have the fine quality. Bucket Bob is out there working his butt out there to do his job. I don't even know who would come to here when there's just a bucket as their entertainment. Hey, they'll like him. Let's unclog these toilets. Nasty. Check this out. Everything looks alright. Except the lights flickering because apparently our electric bill is not being paid or something. I mean, well, we have faulty wiring in this business. That's what it is. We paid on time, I promise. Somehow. We gotta foreclose it. Uh, <laughs> business. And we'll replace the bulbs. You know, I feel like we still have faulty wiring in here, but, you know, not an issue <laughs> for our finest pizza. Okay, we're done. Let's get out Let's leave. Of here. Oh, what's the equipment? Oh, too high for my blood. Can't even get a printer. I mean, well, two times a faster printer, high speed uplink, or a handyman. We got Bob. That's all we need. 
but let's leave for the day. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Yeah. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. I knew it. I'm a successful entrepreneur. So another five nights again. Oh no. Will we even make it to Saturday? I feel like we're just gonna die. Congratulations on completing your first day. Who are However, you? your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. Oh, that is the inspecting heck? and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Exactly. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Money. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then you get no money for the salvage. I want money. You keep it and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item oh. in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can, can use it three taser? times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Uh, <laughs> just uh, well, I think we should salvage it. I want that money. And he looks like he could be qualified for the job, you know, just fix your face up and yeah, you'll be alright, buddy. A teddy bear. You'll be fine. We won't throw you in the, back into the alley where you came from in the dumpster. We could possibly use you. And also, I just want the money. So, uh, let's see how You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Oh, no. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Sorry, I just had to pause him for a minute because, I mean, he might kill us, this animatronic, but at least we can say we saved him. Yeah. Begin audio prompt in three, two, oh, no. one. What the heck is that? Is that the Predator? Is that the Predator? <laughs> it sounds pretty good to me. I think you need to check. Document results. What would you say? Yeah, I'll put a yes. Begin audio prompt in three. Two, oh, he moved. One. He didn't move. It looks like to me he, he's fine. You just want to tase him. Document results. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, Begin he audio moved. Tase him. Three, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you were looking at me like a snack. You are right there. Uh, Two, one. That sounds about right. Document results. Well, I'm unsure about that one. Like I one short Begin two. audio prompt in three, two, one. I swear, one. he just keeps moving in my opinion. I don't want to keep tasing him. He learned his lesson. Document results. Yeah, I'm sure. Begin audio oh, prompt tase him! I'm sorry. You're going down, big bear. <laughs> All you need is a little bit of rest. After every tase. Two, one. He's fine. Change. Okay. Okay. 
hit it with it though. <laughs> yeah. Why is that one so long? Jesus. That's a no from me. the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Yay. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Oh, God. Well, I don't care. We got your money from you. Oh, we made really good money today. Yay, we had no lawsuits. Yes. Uh, well, now I think we're too good to be dumpster diving. Oh, it's marked down. I don't want this. For what? For more liability? Well, we can get whatever we want. Oh, the sanitation station's not marked down. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, <laughs> it's very poor. I mean, it's gonna be a dirty station by the time we buy it. Oh man, I wish I could buy it now. Well, no sanitize. I want the duck pond. Yeah, we can buy the duck. <gasps> a new catalog. We got Stan's budget tech. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, Ooh the royal party set. I like fancy. this. And we have some enhanced speaker set. Deluxe speaker set. Looks really deluxe. Oh, Fruity Maze Arcade. And then we have the Midnight Mutterous Arcade. We have Gumball Swivel Hands. And he got the greatest jazz hands, if I do say so myself. He gives a lot of revenue. Yeah, but everybody wants his gumballs. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the Neon Stage Lights. A sturdy stage and the sturdy stage extended marked down. We have novelty traffic light, happy frog, and the rest are unavailable. And, and then we have candy cadet, which if I do say he looks awesome. He does look pretty good. But what would we want to do with our cashola? Uh, well, I think we could maybe upgrade oh, yeah. to the foil party set. I want. We need fancy plates. No more paper cups for us. Foil is where it's now. at. Yeah, we're bougie now. We're at the budget tech now. We don't need the weekly for the dumpster diving. We already paid our dues diving in there. Now we need something to improve ourselves. We want the best restaurant out there. I want a good stage. Yeah, I don't know why that other one is marked down. Oh, well, it's in poor condition. we'll save up for it. it. But you know what? Let's buy these neon lights. And we should maybe get the gumball guy. He gives a lot of revenue. But what about Cadet? Which one is that? He's awesome. Oh, Candy Cadet. Yeah, Candy yeah, Cadet. Yeah, we could get him. Yeah, we'll get you. I like our purchases. I think done Pretty here for now yeah now let's see where to put candy our results candy. oh wait there was a sponsorship offer <laughs> marty's plungers nothing goes down that can't come up marty's plungers llc is offering to pay for advertising in your establishment well sorry marty we don't really want you we don't welcome your plungers here <laughs> our toilets are always clogged all the time so maybe we should but no, you're just too expensive right now. But I do want to upgrade our floor plan. Uh, I don't think we should upgrade it yet, unless we don't have enough space. Eh, I think it looks fine for now. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Candy Cadet. Yeah, you'll stay right here. Oh, oh you could play him. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. And our little duck farm. Our fast rating is going through the roof. We should try playing both of them. Yeah, let's try out the duck one to see how it is. It's played. Oh, pick one. I'll pick this one. Ooh, 500? I'm gonna pick this one. Oh man, I'm <laughs> basic. I'm gonna pick that one up there. Oh, well, 700 points. It's a lot of points though. Uh, you were lucky though. You got a 500 and then I got 100. Yes, we got money. 
the fast rate is pretty high. Everybody wants to come to this, you know? But right now, it's crap. But hey, they like this place, alright? Yeah, our bucket man's doing the work. Yeah, look at him up here. He's happy. Look at that face. You don't have to worry about him killing you, because he's just wood <laughs> in a bucket with yeah. other bits. What's he gonna do? You see, unlike all these other animatronics out here that just want to kill us, Bucket Bob always has our back. We made him from scratch. So, let's try out Candy Cadet. I am the Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Candy. What the heck? Candy oh, press space. Return Boy. to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. <laughs> what? We won! <laughs> Yay, I don't know what just happened. But we got some money. Oh my god, how much did he give us? He gave us a lot for our rating, just because we got a ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, I want to try him again. Ooh, piece of candy. But we'll be back with you guys in the next part of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. We're going to end it right here. And yes, right now I think there's an animatronic on the loose now since we salvaged him. So it's going to get even more creepier from here on out, I bet. But anyways, if you want us to play more, just comment down below and let us know what you think. And also, com I mean, I said already said comment, I mean like and subscribe if you're new and you want to. But I am Nightingale X3 and this is Mom. And we will be back with you guys next time in our pizzeria restaurant as we try to make it bigger and better and see if we can survive to Saturday. So, bye bye guys, and as always, laugh often, love everyone around you, and live life to the fullest. And I will catch you guys later.